I think people of our generation are either fourth or maybe even fifth generation Japanese descendants and over the years the culture is lost or somewhere diluted. The Cherry Blossom Festival gives 15 young women the opportunity to learn more about their heritage. I realized that it would be a good opportunity for me to not only meet new people out in the community but also to learn about more of my culture of course and some of the traditions. Starting in August, we start to find our contestants for the festival. Come January, we introduce our contestants to the public. We have certain events such as public appearances, golf tournament, fashion show, and it all ends with our festival ball that's held at Hawaii Theater this year. Culture classes are to help the contestants learn more about their Japanese heritage. They have classes such as tea ceremony, ikebana, flower arranging, they also go through taiko classes, which they learn a taiko number that they perform at Festival Ball. As a contestant, the best part was really getting a chance to bond with the 14 other contestants and doing everything together. So all the classes, all the trainings were excellent because we got to enhance our knowledge and we got to get better at things. But then doing it with 14 other really fun people made it even better. We're very, very fortunate to have Mrs. Lillian Yajima, who's been around with the festival since its inception over 60 years ago. She really believes in the importance of the preservation of Japanese culture, and through the Japanese scholarship, it's allowing these 15 young contestants the opportunity to further continue whichever passion it was that they found within the festival. They put down three choices of the top three classes they'd like to pursue after they're on as a contestant. She donates her time and her money into finding those classes for the contestants. Our Cherry Blossom Festival Court attends the coronation of the Seattle, LA, San Francisco festivals every year. On the West Coast and the Pacific Northwest, we are the only festivals on this side. I think it's very important that we make the effort to go to their festivals to show support to them. And likewise, they attend our festival every year, showing their support for our festival. The court gets to go to Japan along with some select JC members and board of directors. We go there to visit our sister chapters that are in Japan, which is Kobe, Orawada, and what we know as San JCs. We share this sister chapter relationship with them, that they come to Hawaii, we spend time with them. We go up to Japan and they let us experience the Japanese culture firsthand. It's really two weeks of being on the go, non-stop, doing things every minute of every day. It's all about just respecting the culture because you're back where it all started. So really appreciating everything Japan and every city has to offer and getting to know their specific traditions and their cultural values and just learning about all of it. And also seeing things that you've learned about here in classes being put into practice. I hope they realize that it's been 60 years. They should be privileged that in history they're going to be looked back as the 60th court that represented our 60th festival. We you know whatever reasons they, they came into the festival with for wanting to apply and wanting to participate in the festival. It's the bond, like the theme for the festival, the Kizuna, that they're going to create. That's what's going to make their year successful. Make the best of it because you think one year is so long but it's really not. I mean, I feel like it was just yesterday where we were at the festival, starting our reign, and now it's over. So they just really need to enjoy every part of it, even when they get stressed out, even when they're tired, even when they don't really want to go early and get their hair and makeup done. It's just enjoy every single part of it because it does fly by.